In today's video, I'm going to show you six stocks that pay a monthly dividend to their shareholders, and it starts right now. If this is your first time watching my channel, I talk about all kinds of ways that you can make money in the stock market. I talk about passive income, personal finance, and self-development. So if you like any of those things, subscribe to my channel and click the little bell so you don't miss anything. All right, let's get into it today. So the first company that pays a monthly dividend I'm going to be talking about is Realty Income, ticker symbol O. Now, just like what it says, it is a Realty Investment uh, a real estate investment trust and it has been on average providing 15% in dividends per year since 1994. Now almost 10,000 people own this company on Robinhood. It's a 22% buy right now from analysts because they're saying that it's a little bit overbought right now. It's jumped 20% since February of this year. And which is amazing, guys. Now, this company is a good company to get involved with. One of their uh, their trademark slogan for this company is literally the monthly dividend company. Now, they've been paying dividends for a very long time. They have a very high earnings per share at 81 cents per share, and they've been paying a 22 cent dividend since 1994 or it's been increasing to that since now now this company is a great company to still get involved with its uh, yield is a bit over 4.6 percent right now so the dividend yields not as high but it's nicely diversified it's a safe account um, two of their top um, the largest tenants that they have right now is Walgreens, Boot Alliance, and FedEx. So they're not going anywhere anytime soon, and um, it's a good company to get involved with. You should check it out. The next company is going to be LTC. Now, this is LTC Properties. It is also another real estate investment trust. Now, I believe <clears throat> with that said, this company... Um, provides senior housing and healthcare property properties. Um, it's kind of uh, around a 5% yield, 5.24% yield right now. It's slowly increasing over time. Uh, it's at a negative right now a little bit because it had a slight pullback, but in five years, it's up 47%. Now, LTC um, properties basically has a little bit of risk. Investors are concerned that the changing healthcare insurance reimbursements policies will impact LTC tenants, and the stock actually hit a five-year low earlier this year as a result. Um, but it's still providing a solid 5% return per month, or 5% per year, uh, and it's still paying monthly dividends. So moving on to number three is SJR, or Shaw Communications. Now, this is a communication company in Canada. Um, its past performance has been strong. It has actually declined about 17% over the past five years. It's going to show a lot of fluctuation here uh, of its value. <clears throat> it's declined 17% over the past five years and has lost about 15% of its value so far now in 2018. But it still has a solid dividend yield of 4.59% with a 5G uh, potential catalyst in the midterm of next year. Um, so you never know. I mean, 5G, guys, I mean, that's crazy. I remember when it was only 1G or no G, and then there was 3G, 4G, and all that. So this is still a really strong company to get involved with. Even though it's at a 5% low right now, there's a 56% buy rating and 1,300 people on Robinhood own this company. Now, they do have a positive earnings per share at $0.30, cents, and that would mean that it's still a very strong company to get involved with as of right now. Now, moving on to number four is Apple Hospitality REIT, A-P-L-E. Now, this is also a REIT, but man, you can't go wrong with REITs. Most of them have a certain tax uh, status where they have to, they have to pay 90% of their income uh, in dividends to their shareholders. So that's really, really cool to know. Fun fact, 
Now, just to get back to it, Apple is up about 8%. It's had a huge drop of about 20% since May. Um, I believe everything in the market right now is just kind of correcting. Uh, it happened last year, too. Had a, a nice correction. But, I mean, it's going to happen. We're making a lot of money. There's a bull market run for many years, many months. There's going to be some dip potential, as you can see in here. When there's a dip, it just means that there's a good potential to buy and sell high or buy for a better price. Now, 6,600 people own this property here. It is a hospitality REIT, it, um, self advised real estate investment trust company, with which invest in income producing real estate properties. Uh, it owns hotels in urban, high end, suburban, and developing markets throughout the states, such as the Marriott and the Hilton brands. So, you guys know too, that's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, they have 126 Hilton still, 115 hotels that are operating under their Marriott. So, I mean, they own a combined total of 241 hotels. They have a nice dividend yield of 6.8% right now. That did go up a little bit since, uh, I guess, Robinhood did their research. And, I mean, it's a really good company to get involved with. It's a solid return. And, um, I mean, it's a great company. They've only... Dividend started at $0.10 cents per share when they uh, did the initial public offering back in 2015, and it's now up to $15.62, as you can see here. It's just amazing how much it's actually taken off. Um, great company to get involved with. They have a $0.50 cents earnings per share right now, and they're paying $0.20 cents per month, it looks like, um, which is great, guys. This is a great company to get involved with. Now, uh, I believe last but not least, oh, no, nope, number five is going to be PBA, which is... Pebina Pipeline. Now, this is the biggest company on the list and the riskiest in a way, and I'll talk to you about why. Now, 88% of analysts are saying it's a buy, and almost a thousand people own it on Robinhood. 3.5% gain in one year, with a 40% growth in five years. Now, they do. Um, you know, it is a pipeline, so there is going to be a lot of fluctuation with oil prices and everything going on um, in just politics and economics, everything like that. Now, they are up. They are paying a solid 5.3% dividend right now, not a 4.33. And valuation is relatively reasonable to their U.S. rivals like Kinder Morgan, KMI, or Plains All-American Pipeline, PAA. Now, if PIB, um, if Pembina Pipeline Corp. can continue to grow once the Vericene acquisition is fully integrated, there should be a nice upside on the top of that 5% yield. Um, <clears throat> solid company to get involved with. It is risky, they're saying, but it is solid. At an 88% buy right now, why not? 70% or 70 cents earnings per share for this company makes it a good solid company to get involved with right now now last but not least is stag or stag stag industrial it is <clears throat> it isn't necessarily a speculative stock but it is one that can drive steady long-term returns along with monthly payouts for the one year it looks like they're down almost two percent and for the five year they're up 63 percent so i'll take that small little dip right here for those huge gains now they have 58 percent of analysts are saying it's a buy and almost four thousand people own this on Robinhood. Now, if you're not familiar with Stage Industrials, it is a real estate investment trust. It engages in acquisitions and operations of industrial real estate properties. Now, they're coming in with another solid 5.14% dividend yield, and they are not going anywhere anytime soon. They have a great um, <clears throat> price right now at $26. They're 2% higher than average, and they have a nice earnings of $0.45 cents per share. Now, all these companies, guys, are great companies to get involved with. If For all of you that know, I mean, there's not very many companies that are dividend-paying companies out there. I think there's about 100 or less. Most of them are ETFs. Um, and... It's really nice to be able to see some of those returns into your bank account or you can do the drip investment or you um, do automatic reinvestment of your uh, dividends into certain stocks. 
I mean, it's like compound interest to the max, guys. It's better than putting your money into a bank account and getting less than 1% or 2% interest per year. This is 5 6% interest every year. And when you compound it on top of other companies, I mean, you're making probably 30 40 50% interest every year by compounding these six companies. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, Smash the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my next video.